Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. Currently looking at my AMD rig with another frame right beside it. Courtesy of Savage Mind. Really appreciate you, bud. I plan on combining or moving this AMD system over to this HGPU frame to give me more room so I can fill it up with AMD cards. But it's over here on a separate line from my main rig, as you can see over there. The reason I had to do that is because I can't run this much power on the standard US 110. Matter of fact, if we look carefully at this outlet, you can see it got a little bit toasty. That's actually from the kilowatt meter that was on here originally. Uh, but just don't run those things 24 seven. Just do it for testing and then unplug it once you got all your data. But as you can see right here, we got a nice little box. Let me get my light real quick. And that box is courtesy of Spates Goats. So a huge shout out to him as well. He did this for Red Panda as well. But you can see it's got my name on it and it fits uh, this little uh, LCD meter. And the numbers are all off. I'm currently mining, as you can see, but the numbers are all off. I'll have an update about that, maybe in a different video. But we are getting 240 volt, no problem. It's just the wattage and the amps that are being drawn um, is not accurate. So I'll have to do some research and get back to you about that in a different video. But running this line, this one, this 10-2, was a pain in my rear. Why? Well, I got vaulted ceilings. And you can see where there's a beam right there in the center, and that really kicked my butt. I have to show you from the garage, but long story short, this NVIDIA rig with only seven cards has a lot of power hungry cards on it. 3080, 2080, 1080Ti. Those power hungry cards we're pulling close to, with everything on, 1100, almost 1200 watts. A little bit too much for your normal American uh, outlet, I guess you could say, which is probably usually a 15 with 14 aug wire and so on and so forth. So anybody telling you that can handle 1800 watts through a normal American outlet, don't believe it. Because then you have to consider what else is on this outlet, right? So what else is appliances, coffee maker, air fryer, all that stuff. So you gotta take all of that into account. I didn't wanna deal with that anymore. I didn't wanna have to be concerned. So we went dedicated 240 and let's go over to the garage, show you what we did. All right, so here's my breaker panel. And in my breaker panel, we'll be able to see the mining rig 30 amp breaker. Dedicated, plenty of room on this breaker panel to be honest. I could add a bunch more, but with at home mining, you gotta take into account temperature, stuff like that, and it's already toasty in there. So I just plan on running two rigs at home, one all AMD, one all Nvidia, and just stick with that. So we got the line ran from way back there. And you can see my attic access. And right above this wall is where it gets really, really tight. Let me show you what I mean. So my house is pretty long, got a pond right behind it. And so when you get towards the edge of a roof, it gets really narrow. And that's part of the inconvenience I had to deal with when trying to run this. But not only was it narrow towards this side of the house, it gets narrow towards the back side of the house. And you can see a piece of conduit. So the hard part was, is trying to get the wire, right? So we started from this point went up and then all the way to the garage. We used a 10 foot Smurf to do so because once I got to this area, not only was I fighting the beam, and you can see the beam goes like that, not only was I fighting the beam, but I was fighting both edges, the back and the side here. Um, I was able to squeeze through, a little bit sore, but I was able to grab the wire using a 10 foot Smurf with a curved tip to try to curve it that way. I was able to grab it and get it all the way to the garage. A little bit of patience, a lot of sweat, a few curse words, and it got done. So we got a little junction box out here. And this wire is going through this junction box to the other side that I just showed you. Uh, we actually used an existing box that was already in there that was for a telephone jack. And uh, I had to get approval from my HOA, so make sure if you live in a, a housing area that has HOA that you get authorization. But 
the reason we had to do it this way is because unlike a normal house where we could just drop wire, you know, use a paddle bit, drop wire through a two by four, go all the way down, we couldn't do that. Because this is block, and you can actually tell this house is block because of the foundation cracks. Welcome to Florida, you know, living by a pond, the house, the water table, the house is gonna have foundation cracks. So not major cracks, but that told me that this house is strong. That also told me that there's no way that we could drop a line through this. I tried it on an interior wall as well, but because of the vaulted ceilings, I couldn't get a wire down past the first two by four, but I couldn't get past the second one. So we went with this route, drilling through a telephone uh, jack box that was on the inside out um, and then finding our placement and then just having the wire laid out here on the grass and then just ran it all the way through. So now I have plenty of room in my breaker panel uh, to add additional if I really wanted to for additional appliances but I have a peace of mind knowing I'm reaching the limits of this normal 15 amp, you know, regular uh, residential electrical. One of the biggest concerns was my master bedroom right here. That breaker kept tripping for some reason. And what I was happening, or what I think was happening, is that the load between both mining rigs, plus, you know, the air fryer turning on, the oven turning on, whatever it may be, adding a significant load, tripped this breaker. It's an AF CI breaker. So, with that out of the way, I got a little bit more peace of mind. And now I can migrate everything from this AMD rig to the AGPU frame that Savage so kindly let me have. And combine it on top of this one, the NVIDIA rig, and have plenty of electrical, plenty of room, running off of a PDU, a 30 amp PDU, and it's also got a switch on it. Actually, Nerd Gears used to sell this one, uh, but I picked this one up from Walmart. But check the links in the description below for all the parts that I use, for all the splitters, connections, cables, stuff like that. What I actually use to run this dedicated line all the way to the garage from here. I'll have it linked down below, but that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out, subscribe for more content like this, and hit me up in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Also, if you haven't checked out my video on this little LCD screen and what I did, uh, to set up like a hardware monitor situation to where I don't have this monitor on all the time um, using ADA64. Check that out in the description as well. Take care, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.